Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you uh, today when I got home from work. Uh, Ring of Honor did fix my problem for my previous Ring of Honor unboxing video. Uh, the best of El Generico DVD came today. Um, today is like Wednesday. So, I mean, like I called them on Monday and they fixed my problem within a minute. Uh, and um, on the phone. Let me just get this off. I don't really have another way to say this. Like, I have been calling Shop TNA. For over a week now, the first time I called Shop TNA was last Tuesday. I called and I left the message. And on their message machine, it says that it takes up to 24 hours for them to return on my message. I waited till Thursday. Nobody called me back. I called. I left another message. Time went by. I went to Monday. I finally called and got a hold of somebody. I said I had an, a question about the packages that I bought for the Bound for Glory uh, in San Diego. Uh, he said, you know what? I can't answer your question, but I will get you somebody that can. He transferred me to somebody else. I left another fucking message. It's been two more days. It's been a week and a day to answer one question from Shop TNA. T TNA is you know, a bigger company than Ring of Honor, but I call Ring of Honor up. They made the one simple mistake on my order, and um, I was on the phone with somebody for one minute, and they fixed it. They sent this out. Uh, I got it within two days. Uh, they put it in a uh, priority box, so thank you for Ring of Honor for fixing my problem. I, they could have shipped this the slowest way possible, and I still would have been happy because I basically got a free DVD from the two buy two, get one free sale, and I'm happy to get the best of El Generico. Uh, since we're talking Ring of Honor, I, you know, I talked about the Briscoes in the last one. It might... You know, honest opinion in the last two days from reading all the comments and the videos and seeing what's unfolded the last two days. I'm guessing the Briscoes aren't going to be leaving uh, Ring of Honor. I guess that there is no uh, WB offer out there and they're probably looking like they're not going to get one. Um, uh, basically yesterday, uh, Ring of Honor uh, put up a video um, that Jay Briscoe sent in uh, with you know his shoulders all fucked up inside the barn. Even if you aren't a Ring of Honor fan, you'd appreciate this promo. It's pretty good. He's drinking... Um, Crown Royal right out of the bottle. Like I said, his shoulder's all fucked up. He's got his arm in a sling. He's selling his injuries that he got from Matt Hardy and Scum when they beat him down. And uh, basically, Ring of Honor is going to be moving in a new, new direction. They're going to be having a new uh, you know, title tournament uh, where they're going to crown a new champion. I think a lot of people from a lot of videos and tweets and stuff today uh, is, is looking like that Elgin's going to win the, uh, the title. Um, just because he is... The guy who's going into it as a number one contender, and he's getting, I guess you could say, the top seed. Uh, but Nigel McGuinness is going to be putting this over uh, in the next couple weeks, and the tournament will start uh, in this upcoming month that will uh, con con conclude at the um, Death Before Dishonor um, 11 pay-per-view. Um, honestly, I think that uh, I don't know a lot about Ring of Honor. I don't really watch a lot of their shows. I have watched them sporadically uh, when I've been able to catch a stream of them when they've been on. Um, other than that, I really just follow what the Briscoe Brothers are doing. But um, the one thing that was hard to miss was that if you're a Ring of Honor fan or not, and if you're just into watching what they were putting on, nobody liked the whole scum angle. It was horrible. And uh, basically, I think that this is basically a, a good way to wipe the slate clean. Um, you can sort of do the same angle that WWE did with CM Punk in 2011, uh, where you know he's a champion, he's left. Uh, you can just sort of keep... Um, uh, you, you can do your whole tournament, and then when whoever wins this tournament, you just bring back Jay Briscoe uh, for his bigger turn, and then he's num named the number one contender. You got two ROH champions, and basically, as you move your way all through this tournament, you separate yourself from the past, which was scum, and you're burning off in a new direction. To me, um, you know that, that's probably a good thing to do because, uh, like I said in the last video, you don't really hear anybody talking about Ring of Honor anymore. Uh, the the one thing that you really did hear the most was just everything. You know, it's just people complaining about the streams, about how you know people pay for them and then they die out and they don't work. And um, I, I bought a lot of DVDs from them. I probably have. I don't know, 15 to 20 Ring of Honor DVDs that I've collected over the time. They've always treated me right through the uh, the, the Ring of Honor shop and uh, shipping stuff out, but just for some reason they can't get their shows up on uh, the internet live, and that's been the one big problem. And then WB keeps raping them with all their talent, so they have to keep on bringing in new guys. But a lot of the new guys that they brought in, uh, I really like uh, that when I when I do get a chance to see them. So uh, you know, maybe they're not dead. Maybe they are going to keep living on, and we're going to have to see where we go from here. But uh, there is one more uh, Briscoe Brothers uh, DVD, which I guess just went out of print, but is still available through High Spots. So 
hope it'll still be available there uh, once I can get a sale. And there's, like I said before, there's the uh, really out of print one uh, from way back in the day that I need to get my hands on as well uh, to complete my Briscoe's Brothers collection. So there we go. Everybody have a good night. I'm going to watch the main event and uh, get into some WWE. Peace out.